Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for bromine monochloride. So here we go. It's going to be BrCl, bromine monochloride, which gives us 7 valence electrons from the bromine plus 7 valence electrons from the chlorine for a total of 14 valence electrons. Okay, so this one's uh, pretty straightforward. You have the bromine and the chlorine, we can start by single bonding them and then filling in each of their octets. And if you count up the electrons, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, which is our total, which means that this is actually the final structure. So let's go ahead and verify that just by checking the formal charges. So the formal charge on the bromine is going to be uh, the 7 valence brought in minus the 1 single bond minus the 2, 4, 6 non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero and then the formal charge on the chlorine is going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus the one single bond minus the two four six non-bonding electrons as well which also gives us a formal charge of zero add those up overall formal charge of zero which is what we need because this is not a charged uh, particle all right uh, in terms of shape with just having the two atoms that's going to make this a linear shape alright and in terms of hybridization looking at either of these atoms as the central atom they both have one two three four or one two three four they both have four electron groups which means we need four hybrid orbitals so sp3 hybrid all right, so 1s and 3p's for a total of four hybrid orbitals to match the four electron groups. And because these two atoms are not the same kind of atom, their polarities will not cancel out, which makes this a polar compound, okay? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.